My name is Lisa Joy Iverson. Hi, I'm here again and uh, with, without a plan, but we're just going to have some fun painting. Come along. So, I've got my uh, watercolor paper. Again, I'm just playing with watercolors today. Um, I'm thinking about sunflowers. It's snowing outside here in Calgary. I'm going to be using uh, one of these. It's got the water in it and just kind of squeeze it and uh, and it will uh, release a little bit of water. So just to give an idea there, I squeeze that and I can kind of just move that around however I want. Um, I don't have any expectations about exactly what this is going to look like. So that's the fun of, uh, of just freestyle painting here. I don't have a reference in front of me. So these are going to be sunflowers from my imagination and from uh, what I've seen. So we've got that bright yellow. Um, I think let's throw some of this. It's almost, I've got this labeled as KD. It actually, if you know, the noodles craft dinner, it's sort of similar <laughs> to that color. That's not, it was just happenstance, but whenever I look at that, I think that's pretty funny. And uh, what I found through working with watercolor is that um, layering, I think if you watch any tutorials of uh, more professional watercolorists, they'll talk about how uh, the, the wonderful thing about watercolor is the transparency of it. And so uh, layers create uh, some depth, it creates more vibrant colors. Uh, so letting things kind of dry in between if you have the patience for it or a hair dryer <laughs> like I do. So there's different kinds of sunflowers. I tried my hand at gardening over the last couple of years and I actually uh, write uh, an article uh, for our community newsletter, uh, a garden article, which is kind of fun and funny to me because uh, I'm learning with the audience that I'm writing for. So it's my advice is based on my curiosity about it. And uh, so I've been doing this article for a couple of years now and uh, and uh, so my hand at gardening, I, the uh, last couple of years when I've done it, I've uh, grown sunflowers and loved them. They were so beautiful, all the different kinds of sunflowers and the bees loved them. Uh, every time I would visit my, uh, my, the garden box over in the community area, um, loved just seeing all of these bees that were just adoring the sunflowers along with me. So that was really nice. Uh, anything for the bees. <laughs> if I had some of my uh, friend, little friends here painting with me, my nieces or um, Leela or Olive, um, <laughs> that they would say, maybe this is a close-up of uh, like some creature, and uh, those are its eyes. I wonder if I should be adding a third sunflower here so it doesn't look like big eyes. And actually, we could add it. <laughs> no, no, it's gonna look like a mustache. We could add it like it's a. Uh, That's too funny. That's what happens. Sometimes when you're getting creative, just silly things. You create stories with these things. I'm doing it differently than the, uh, I started out with these circles straight on, right? And now I've changed my mind and now I'm trying to do some other flower heads with them. Uh, here, let's put one in the background. So now we've got a bouquet happening, or glasses. That's pretty funny. I'm gonna just you can see how this is all coming together. Fun. I think we need one facing that way. Now, did you know, okay, so if you didn't know, sunflowers, they follow the sun. 
and a lot of people know that, of course, sun comes up and uh, the sunflower turns its head with the sun as the sun passes by, uh, so rises in the east, sets in the west, right? Um, but what I didn't know when I was preparing the garden article and I was writing about some sunflowers is that as soon as the sun sets, the sunflowers, you know, they've got to prepare. So they end up going the other direction to get ready for when the sun rises again. Never thought about that, but of course it makes sense. They don't just wait for like, oh, there's the sun. They actually reset themselves like, oh, we know it's coming up over there, which is pretty smart. Okay. So now we need to add greens and looking at this, I'm tempted to start with this one here just to get the base of it and then we can add in some, some kind of brighter colors. So I like what's happening here, it's quite pretty, but this is definitely a first layer in my mind because um, um, I think we can do better. You know, I'm going to leave the background just like it is. Um, I think that that shows a lot of light kind of coming through, that's that white. And so now I just want to add actually a little bit of depth in here around the seeds. So my go-to would be kind of this color, I'm going to touch on it and see what it kind of looks like. And I'm just going to use the top of my um, little brush here with, some, with, with it being wet. And I think, and just kind of blend it out a bit so that it's not like, I don't want it to have like de definite marks if I can help it if that makes any sense I'd like for it to kind of blend a little bit and in my mind I'm imagining this to be the sunflower seeds and um, so keeping that sort of idea in my mind as I'm dropping the color down onto the page <laughs> this could be the make or break thing. I don't know if I'm going to regret outlining some things, but I really want to, so I'm going to. I've got black here, but I wonder if I should use, I've got brown, brown, hmm. interesting how a picture can change. We started out small. We started out with all those little, those two sunflowers. 
and then I changed it. I added more sunflowers. And then we added layers of color and it changed. And then we added leaves and it changed. And now I'm holding my pen further back to have a looser style, right? Because if I hold it really close, then I'm trying to get really tight details in. But I hold it further back, and that way I don't have as much control. And the picture changed again, and that's okay. It is what it is, and some people might like it, and some people might not like it. And I am, I never know. I never know if I like something that I have drawn or I don't like it, and it takes me a little while, and usually, usually I end up liking it. It's kind of rare that I end up not liking something, but usually because I'm, I don't have an expectation of what it is that this is going to look like. Um... I, it takes me a little bit to decide if I like it or not. I think I'll try to leave part of this open because I do, I did like it before I started playing with this line work. I did, but I think this adds a graphic element that is very interesting to look at. That's it. There was some creative fun. I made some choices along the way. I didn't know what I was going to start with, what it was going to look like. I just thought I'm going to draw some sunflowers and here we are. We got lots of sunflowers. So um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, either on my process, uh, share your ideas about sunflowers, um, anything in the comments that you'd like to share with me, thoughts on uh, this artwork. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Please like, please subscribe, please ring that bell, and um, come back again. Thanks so much. Bye.